very good evening friends meeting again in the session of materia medica and today we'll going to learn a very important snake poison remedy that is the crotella soridus we are very familiar with the lachesis because it is a well proved remedy and everyone learns it by heart there are many features which are common in both remedies the lachesis and crotella soridus but few things which are differentiating point out of which one is important thing one must always keep in mind is the right sidedness of crotella soridus so that point one should always keep with everyone before going to allen's keynotes i will share a very acute case acute means i have treated it acutely it is a case of cancer with metastasis with hematemesis cancer of stomach with liver metastasis with hematemesis with coffee ground diarrhea coffee colored vomiting and patient was admitted four times in a last month and just now i have started treatment and he was not getting settled with the hemat hematemesis as well as the coffee ground diarrhea they were trying their level best at the hospital patient was from odisha and it was not getting settled and they were giving the blood points and blood is not getting coagulated and patient is in a difficult state and his wife called me that sir aisa aisa hai so what can we do is homeopathy will be helpful in such acute state they are helpless they are doing all things they have given anticoagulants they have given the um, vitamin k and vitamin c and everything and nothing is working and his bleeding is not getting stopped and condition is looking hopeless now so that's what her that's what she said so it is a cancerous case so your remedy should have that strength first important thing second important thing was coffee colored vomiting and coffee colored diarrhea is very 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 characteristic of the protella he was an antibiotics because because there was first it has started with the fever and he was a known case of ca stomach since last 6 months and which was One. increased even after the and it was increased even after taking the chemo and all those things he was not in operative condition surgical intervention was not done and chemo were given even radiation was given and nothing was working in that case and that bleeding was not getting stopped so she asked what to do in emergency she said you can you send the medicines i said i can send but it it takes never nearly about 8 days to reach over there so better i will tell you the remedy you bring it over there and start give the three doses of it and i have given prescribed the crotella soridus crotella soridus 30 i asked them she got it next day she, and she called me yes i got the medicine i said give it him every 15 minutes three doses and three doses were given and after giving three doses of crotella soridus there was no more hematemesis there was no more diarrhea and the stools which mm, appeared looked to be a little bit normal but not coffee ground so she again called after 3 4 days doctor 3 4 days he was not having the Uh, problem but today also he today he passed again the same black stools copy colored so i said repeat it three more three more doses and i have given the three more doses so this was just a th four, four five days back or big back crotellus is such a remedy which has a capacity to tackle such types of uh, hemorrhages it is a hemorrhagic diathesis remedy 
where the blood color is very important. It is coffee ground, coffee colored blood, which happens to be there and which is non-coagulable generally. So that quality, if you are able to catch, you can prescribe the Crotellus auridus and Crotellus controls that. Even in um, uh, zymotic diseases or communicable diseases like malaria, like typhoid, like um, dengue, etc. This is a wonderful remedy to tackle the hemorrhages. When infective focus is there, this is very, very important remedy to tackle the bleeding. So it works so fast. And you, you can go high even 200 also, but depends upon the susceptibility of the patient. This patient's susceptibility was low. Already he was uh, uh, hospitalized with a lot of antibiotics and all those things. And that's why it was necessary not to go for high. It's always better to start with low. I have started with 30. And it worked. So 30 has produced an immediate result. And it works so fast, instantaneously. This is a remedy which works fast. Generally, what I have observed is next remedies are there which works very fast, instantaneously, if they are perfect remedies for the case. Lachesis, the same is true. It works so, if patient is lachesis, it works so fast. You cannot predict, which you cannot see with the minerals or metals. They act comparatively slowly. So this is the instantaneous results which we can get with the snake remedies and that's what I have shared. There are many cases to share with Protellus, but let us go with the Allen's keynotes. Let us learn something about this remedy. So Crotellus horridus, poison of rattlesnake. It is Crotellidae. It is indicated in strumus. Again, word comes strumus. Strumus is glandular affection, specifically the thyroid gland, which is commonly affected, but glandular affection is strumus, debilitated because of hemorrhage, Hem debilitated hemorrhage, because of loss of bl blood, they become debilitated. Broken down constitution, their health is damaged. They don't have susceptibility. Susceptibility is hampered. So they are absolutely becomes debilitated during zymotic diseases. Very specific word, zymotic. Zymotic means communicable diseases. So, samsargajanya, which we call, they are transmitting from one person to another during zymotic diseases. So, it is a wonderful remedy, specifically in dengue type of fever, where the hemorrhage happens to be there. Think about this remedy very commonly. In inebriates, inebriates means those who are alcoholic, darude, inebriates, tendency to carbuncles and blood boils. This is the infective focus which used to happen over there and there are carbuncle, tendency to carbuncle. It is a big indurated boil. Generally happens to be there with diabetes, it is most common. But this is a very important remedy. One should not forget specifically in carbuncles, recurrent carbuncles, recurrent boy, blood boils like anthracinum. Anthracinum is a good intercurrent in such types of cases. Yeah. Generally, in this summer weather, whenever the people start getting recurrent boils, think about the anthracinum. As a, a single dose of anthracinum helps a lot. Diseases caused by previous low state of the system. What are you seeing? Diseases caused by previous low state of the system. System is already low. Susceptibility is low. Why it is low? Because of low septic state. Low septic typhoid, malarial fever, chronic alcoholism. See, things which he is mentioning is having work. What he is explaining? That there is low septic typhoid fever, malarial fever, chronic alcoholism, exhausted vital force, very exhausted vital force, genuine collapse, the shock state which happens in such dimotic diseases, producing hem hemorrhagic tendency, think of crotellus. So septic states with a bleeding tendency other than lachesis, the protellus is a very important remedy one should not forget. Apoplexy. Apoplexy, we have discussed. Apoplexy is nothing but the increased blood supply to the brain pro 
producing or tending towards the paralysis. So apoplectic conditions, apoplectic convulsions in inebriates. Inebriates already we have discussed, alcoholics. Apoplectic convulsions because of congestion to the brain producing convulsions, specifically in drunkards, hemorrhagic or broken down constitution. So these people generally hemorrhagic tendencies there, they are broken down, they don't have good health, their health is absolutely damaged. Hemorrhagic diathesis, see the what quality of blood is there. Hemorrhagic diathesis, blood flows from eyes, ears, nose, and even every orifice of the body, the bloody sweat. So, bloody sweat is nothing but the, there is oozing from the skin. It is given in italics, having a meaning. So, there is a venous bleeding is also there with the with this remedy. Yellow, yellow color of conjunctiva. Why this yellowness come? This yellowness is because, because of the hemolysis. Hemolytic jaundice, which is the characteristic of crotalus oridus. It is not infective jaundice, like hepatic jaundice. It is more of a, specifically of a hemolysis. So malaria, there is hemolysis. Dengue, there is hemolysis. And because of which bilirubin and bilirubin comes and blood, uh, the yellowness comes. So this is looks like yellow fever, looks like a jaundice. But this jaundice is not hepatic, it is hemic. The, I think that word comes. So yellow color of the conjunctiva clears up vision after keratitis and keratoiride. It is again a good remedy for the infective focus on cornea. Corn, corneal inflammation is keratitis. Or associated with cornea, if iris inflammation is there, so keratoiritis is also covered with the crotellus oridus. Malignant jaundice. See, very important words are further. Malignant jaundice, hematic rather than hepatic. Means here, it is not hepatic jaundice. It is not infective hepatitis. It is hem hematic. Hematic means here hemolysis is the characteristic. The anemia which develops over there because of hemolysis. This is a very important remedy. So jaundice secondary to the hemolysis. So occurs in malaria, occurs in dengue, occurs in chronic viral fevers. This, this is very specific remedy in such types of cases. Purpura hemorrhagica. See, this is this is the platelet disintegration is quite common over there. Purpura hemorrhagica comes on suddenly from all orifices, the skin, the nails, the gums. So this is very important thing. The bleeding is there. Tongue is fiery red, smooth and polished like pyrogen. Septic states are very close to each other. The crotalis is septic, lachesis is septic, pyrogen is septic. Baptitia is septic, then you have to differentiate. You have to differentiate it on different, different things. Pyrogen and crotalus, where the tongue is polished, clean. But even though it is polished, pyrogen have a relative tachycardia. Means it is not related with the temperature. Temperature is 100, pulse is 140, 50, like that. So it is... Um, general proportion is disturbed in case of pyrogen and that's why it's too easy to catch the pyrogen over there. So, tongue is fiery red, the smooth and polished, intensely swollen. The tongue is intensely swollen. There is tremendous swelling. Malignant diphtheria in scarlatina. See, all diseases which are communicable, zymotic disease, malignant diphtheria or scarlatina, Edema or gangrene of the fossils or tonsils. So whole pharynx, it looks edematous, it looks gangrenous, inflammatory. Pain aggravated by empty swallowing. So if patient just empty, so tries to swallow empty, it aggravates the condition. Patient, it is liquids are more painful than solids, like this is the remedy. Aggravated from empty swallowing. Malignant diphtheria, if vomiting or diarrhea come on. So, there is it is associated with vomiting, with the diarrhea, 
This is again a very important remedy, specifically in cases of diphtheria. Prostration of vital force, given in italics, has a meaning. Vital force is prostrated because of, because of hemorrhage. The pulse is scarcely filled. Pulse is so weak. Patient is going into the shock state. Blood poisoning. There is a blood poisoning. So, that means it is an infection, septic states. Like pyrogen. Vomiting, bilious. With anxiety, with weak pulse. Every month after menstruation. Vomiting every month after menstruation. Vomiting cannot lie on right side. That is very characteristic modality. Vomiting cannot lie on right side or back without instantly producing dark green vomiting. So if patient lies on it, there is a tremendous greenish vomiting, dark green vomiting is there. Vomiting black or coffee ground of yellow fever. Yellow fever is nothing but the fever associated with jaundice. Again, hemolysis happens to be there, labeled as a yellow fever. So, there is a ulcerations in the stomach. This is a very important remedy. Chronic gastric ulcers, peptic ulcers, very important remedy. Diarrhea. See, diarrhea is very important in crotella solidus. Diarrhea stools are black, thin, like coffee grounds, offensive. That is very important characteristic. It in indicates the infective focus. Diarrhea from noxious effluvia or septic matters in food or drinks. Diarrhea from high game. This is a new word for everyone. High game, it is also given in pyrogen also. But high game is nothing but meat from those animals that is left to the age and decomposes for a bit. So decomposed meat is high game. This is very important. The meat which has been consumed is decomposed and because of which diarrhea is produced. This is a remedy other than pyrogen. Diarrhea during yellow fever. Diarrhea with cholera, with typhoid, with typhus. So all communicable diseases, there is a diarrhea associated. Intestinal hemorrhage when occurring in typical septic and zymotic diseases. So, intestinal hemorrhage, specifically in John, uh, dengue, specifically in malarial type of, or even in typhoid, uh, intestinal hemorrhage happens. Intestinal hemorrhage, which is blood, dark, fluid, and non-coagulable. And that is the problem. It never stops. It never gets coagulated. That is the problem with the protella solidus. Dissecting wounds, insect stings, bad effects of vaccination other than anti dart other than silica, other than um, uh, thuja. This is a very important remedy to be considered in vaccinosis and its effects, bad effects. Vicarious menstruation. Vicarious means in spite of, not nor from the normal flow. It's in spite of. So, vicarious menstruation in debilitated constitution. Here, it is close to digitalis, but digitalis, it is senile degeneration, senile shock condition which is there with the digitalis. Crotella solidus is not like that. Crotellus, it is acute state, acute failure which happens to be there because of such hemorrhage, phosphor, like phosphorus. Menopause, intense flushing and drenching perspiration. Here, it is very close to the lachesis, very close. Both remedies are very important remedies for the climactic syndrome. There is faintness and sinking at the stomach. Prolonged met metrorrhagia. Intermittent menses and they are prolonged for months. That is very typical with crotella solidus. How it is the blood? Blood is dark, fluid, offensive. Very important thing is offensiveness. Offensiveness even in diarrhea. So, septic states always produces the offensive discharge, profound anemia. So, patient comes to you for continuous bleeding for months and 
DUB and associated with anemia, associated with the heart flushes, specifically at climactric if it is apneic, and blood is coffee ground, dark colored, then you must think about the crotalus horridus. It is a remedy indicated for even CA uterus, very important remedy for the cancer of uterus, cancer of stomach. And that's why one should not forget this remedy in cancerous myosin. Malignant disease of the uterus, that's what he is explaining. Malignant disease of uterus, great tendency to hemorrhage, the blood is dark, fluid and offensive. So these are the features which indicates where the action is, how much depth is there, how it tackles and how what is the pace of the remedy. The pace is very fast, even though the remedy acts chronically. The action is 30 days. This remedy acts 30 days. This, this has been given by Gibson Miller. Antidote to this remedy is the lachesis. If you want to antidote crotalus hoditis, lachesis is a remedy which has been mentioned. So, this remedy you must learn by heart. Compare the elapse, lachesis, naja, all three are neck remedies and pyrogen. Pyrogen for the septic states. In lachesis, skin is cold and clammy. The crotalus cold and dry. Elapse, affections of right lung, expectoration of black blood. So, see, these are the hints in the practice. Why Alan has mentioned that? Because it is, it is necessary to differentiate from all three remedies, lachesis, the elapse and the crotalus. So he gives, the in lachesis, the cold and clammy, that is very typical, cold and moist. Crotalus, it is skin is cold and dry. Elapse, it is specifically the right lung affections, pneumonitis of right lung with hemoptysis and blood is again black blood. Generally, these snake remedies, you get a dark colored bleeding, which is characteristic and which is generally a venous type of bleeding, which is there with the snake remedies. So this is a one remedy which we have finished in today's session. Very important remedy from exam point of view as well as from the practice point of view. Second important thing regarding this remedy is the action. It has been not properly mentioned in certain books, but it has been mentioned even uh, Ken Mathusa says not specific action, but it is given in by Gibson Miller, the 30 days of its action. So a defecting remedy, but having a good acute pace, this remedy always helps, specifically in acute ICU cases where this remedy plays a very vital role. So that's all for today. Mm. Tomorrow, we'll meet again with the next remedy. Are there any questions? If it is there, we'll have a chat. Otherwise, we'll finish. So, thank you and good night. Meet tomorrow at 8.15.